And they are a team so of here, absolute this mystery. is definitely something we got Silver, which is obviously um is like one of our actual streamers. I think he please plays support for that team, definitely a decent support himself. We also got Gray, who I remember uh I remember just looking at those Academy uh stats channel, just he was going off. We're talking like like 12, 16 kills a game with barely any deaths against Merkwood. Uh, you also have then, uh, I think, Dialga, which is a player who's been, I think, has been playing for a good while and definitely known around the scene. He does a lot of pickups himself. So it's definitely interesting to see him playing as well here because I think he was playing pretty well against Merkwood as well. So we'll see here now uh, how Eclipse is going to bring their, you know, I'm straight in here, their winning roster to win this matchup, not only this matchup, but the league. All right. Thank you very much for the follow, Subside100. Probably someone else followed, but it hasn't showed me who yet. So it's starting to get close to the time for the actual match, so I'm going to start getting our teams in here. We're going to go back to Splat Zones at Humpback. So last time you asked me what I did not expect to see, and I said I did not expect to see Stingray. But... Booyah Bomb seems to be really good on humpback zones in general. Mm hmm You have I mean, uh I believe I think it was a it was this was a while ago. I don't think you remember. Have you ever heard of the um organization named Ink TV? I have not. Uh they were basically they were basically the biggest Splatoon organization back then. They used to make tournaments like BNS. And like basically BNS, and it was the biggest thing. It was like pretty much the one tournament every NA team played uh, every Friday, and it was just massive. And you know, one of their final tournaments was I was basically I think the low, uh, was the World Splatoon League, which had that at I the heard. end in the in the in the top four, basically had teams. There was a team that ran double booyah with double aerospray PG. It was a Japanese team. So after that, that's when we started seeing just uh, Booyah Bomb pretty much constantly on this map. If you do not play it here, it's kind of a weird place since it's just really strong on this map. So I'm curious here to see uh, how many is going to be on each team's side. Probably one, that's the usual amount, but who knows? We might see two coming out from one of the teams, so we'll see. And again, like I said, Roller or Slosher, again, just really good on this map, so that might be a weapon we might see coming out from someone. Uh, what Roller, do you think, Slosher. Though? I think in a map like this where you have so much up and down, Tenta Missiles, Booyah Bomb, both of those are great zone covers, but that they also do a lot with area control and getting people moving, because there are so many different places for people to lurk. There's so many little... It's up and down, there's cubby holes, there's... I need to look up the actual names of this, but I can't do that while streaming. But there's about 18 different places that you can just shark for a few minutes and go, I am... Mm -hmm. When they come after it, I'm going to destroy somebody. Mm -hmm. And tend to... Uh, so then we got all the getting people out of that. Started. Yep, looks like it. So... It's going to be interesting to actually see what Dialga plays here, because I know Dialga isn't just a play that has, like, a pool of weapons. He, he, I, I've seen him play uh, things from E-Leader to Mini to 52 Deco to Roller to Zap. Like, I've seen him play pretty much every weapon in the game, at least once, probably. And that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but the point is, I've seen him play a lot of weapons. And meanwhile, of course, I know Gray is more of a slayer, and uh, I believe uh, Murkat is also kind of more of a midline slayer, so we're going to see how their comps look like, but I'm definitely interested to see what that was going to pull out here. Meanwhile, on the side of Eternal, um, again, like, it's a scrap-up pickup, basically, somewhat. It's not really the actual Eternal. Uh, I think Danny Boy plays a couple of weapons from uh, Octobrush to, like, backlines, and I'm not sure... I think Oreo T actually plays Heavy, and the other two, I'm not really sure. I believe... Half of three quarters can kind of play a couple of weapons as well. It's kind of just they're going to have to figure out their comps here. Since, again, they're a pickup. Um, not usually something you want to be in in a league since you're going to have to figure out a couple of stuff before actually being able to do much. But sometimes duty calls and you just got to do it. 
Oh, yeah. But we'll see here soon as uh, Eternals are already ready with their weapon choices. So we're just waiting on Murkat and Dialga. Yep. And looks Sorkin like for away here. looks like for our predictions, it's ninety seven percent on the side of Eclipse, three percent on Eternal. Well, whoever's voting on Eternal, I you know. If somehow it happens, you're going to make a lot of bank, that's for sure. So just maybe hope and pray you might get a miracle happening here. But we'll see now as we are starting on Splat Zone's Humpback. And we're now we're going to see the two comps for these teams. Eternal in the blue, Eclipse in the green. So Eclipse, uh -oh. like I said, coming out with that Slosher. The Slosher Deco, though, which is something you don't see much anymore. It's been Gray's nerfed to the ground. Sides. We've got a great mm -hmm. up on both sides, looks like. Yeah, I think. Is there a Booyah? Ooh, there's a very fast double. Dang, we're hitting a triple oh. here. You were Popping off right now for a turn. I mean, okay, you know, maybe they might be able to prove me wrong. Maybe Danny <laughs> Boy was watching the stream and he's pissed now. You know, maybe he wants to prove a point. Hey, language, we're trying so, to keep this PG. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course, of course. Sorry about that. But they were uh, we tanked. see now Silver pushing in. They but got their 10th But Hyper Force getting another pick. And Eclipse here, still trying to get back in. They're not really seeming to get back in here. Dial was going to have to jump out. Got Gray's going nice to get Oreo T, though. Nice pick with the Inkjet. Uh, fire's going to go down now. They're going to try to get but out are they, here. They got the zone. They got the zone. Very good. So now, yeah, very good service right there. Now they're going to have to get their own specials. To have us pushing up with his charge on the left side, he could actually get a pick here as long as he's careful and doesn't die himself. But he's going to get he's gonna get pushed now with that armor. He's going to jump back to his teammates. Pretty smart there. Now we're actually seeing Booyah Bomb and uh, Rush here coming out. And the zone change Eternal. without a lead switch. Eternal still's got it. They yeah, but unfortunately, even after that, oh, they're going to go down. Down. Very nice on Murkat. Double slosher splat. And they're going to yeah, push. So we... Like, try and get into their... Is that the plan? Dalga pushing up, but not knowing that Denny's boy there. He's going to jump once again. Uh, right now, so we're trying to push up on this right side on his own, but he's going to go down. And right now, Booyah Bomb again, what's coming out with Booyah armor Bomb as well. And, and they're three, three down. down they still... Eclipse. Eternal's hanging on to that lead with all they've got. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... This would be a right good time now, for think... Eternal to push up if they... And, but no, they're not pushing up. They're just hanging back a bit, looks like. Throwing bombs... I think right now... I think right now, uh... Clips not only really playing... I was slaying kind of Eclipse as well. Like, Eternal's also oh. just playing with... Any... Et uh, Eternal's making their they're... lead bigger. That's... Not what mm -hmm. Eclipse wants to see. Yeah. Right now, Eclipse, I feel, is... Zaf, for example, they were just pushing alone. I think right now, Eclipse need to try to work together more as a team because I think they're just trying to run in and make hero plays. But that's just kind of how this game works all the time. Maybe they were able to do it against Merkwood yesterday. But it seems like Eternal is just not going to have it today. So they're definitely going to work comes together in, here. Both sides of the zone and caps. caps it. That is the power of double Booyah. Get so it. Silver here right. and Merk are going to go down. They may not... You may you may have said they don't play together every day. They may be tired, but they've also spent... I'm going to say they're tired. They've spent all day playing together. They've got this down. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely right now, they're just people. spamming bombs. Right now, just Silver and Echo trying to survive here with the bomb spam. So we're going to pop armor. They're, they're widening right now, their lead again. They worked off in. their penalty. and they're Right now, Inkjet coming out from Gray. Maybe look at first half here. Nice Has to be able to jump Oreos. out. Right now, Eclipse doesn't have much of a penalty. They could get leader if they wanted, but Eclipse just has to play smart. They're just right now kind of dying whenever they push up, and it's the main issue trying to focus on staying alive using specials. Eternals and hanging on right to now. Booyah until they get both of them, and they're hoping to coordinate Booyah. And game. they can maybe get Danny Boy in the left there, there so it's going to go down again. We have on coming out. That might and cap they zone. Got and zone. Cap they zone. Cap zone. Eclipse has just got to play zone more. They're just letting uh, turn right now just cap it constantly. Not really stopping them from and capping it. They are out killing them, but that's just not enough. If they, they can't, objective. if they can't get the zone and they can't keep the zone, it doesn't matter how many picks they get. As long as the, as mm -hmm. long as it gets one booyah out there, they can stop. Two booyahs is a guaranteed zap get cap. One booyah is very dangerous and pretty darn close to it. And there was. And we see here. It turns just going to get capped again. again. One booyah. One right booyah. now. That's how it works. And they've got two booyahs. They're just alternating who's got it. We lost. Yeah, definitely. 
Eternal Justice. Honestly, um, yeah, it, it Eclipse could actually outpaint those Booyahs. It's not impossible. But we just see that they're pushed up more, looking for the picks, and not able to get them. We've seen now, it happened before, getting a pick from behind. As Silver is trying to get that win at 1-1 one -one against the Zap. Danny Boy in mid now is going to get armor. It's going to be able to survive, maybe. Actually, right mm -hmm. now, this might be the opportunity. This Eclipse needs it. They just the paint the zone. But Booyah Bomb comes and out against the came and in and kept again. them from doing it. Ooh. And right now, that's, that's a, wipe a wipe, though. Eternal. That's a wipe on Eternal. If, if Eternal gets the zone back, if... They've got yeah, right now Eclipse, though, has going the control, into but what Eclipse needs to Eclipse do is they just need control. to not feed. They do get the zap, though. Maybe the pros are going as well. It's going to oh. be a trade. Danny Boy's going to the zone to save it. It's and not an enough, overtime though, and win Eclipse for Eclipse. Take the game. And an overtime win for Eclipse, but that was... It was a lot closer than I expected, I'm going to be honest. Hey, I was expecting great things out of these teams, and we just saw it. Mm -hmm. Some people swearing in the chat which I think that was a little too close for everyone. Mm-hmm, definitely. You see there that Merc uh, Mercat, I think, dropped like a 15-17 bomb, but that's the thing there. I think right now Eclipse is focusing too much on kills, and Eternal just going like, you know, all right, if you're just going to push up and just be right in front of us under our drop, like, what if we just threw bombs and... Like, Booyah, at the zone, what are you going to do then? Like, have the range of an E-Leader and pay from our drop? No. So, I feel like right now, Eclipse won that game just off the skin of their teeth with that wipe at the end. But I think right now... If they now, hadn't they had, had that wipe, we'd be looking at a different scenario entirely. Mm. All right. Who I feel like... Follow us in the past yeah. two we had. It hasn't updated yet. Whoever just followed, thank you very much, because it hasn't told me yet. Uh, by the way, I uh, on the stream, the score right now, you gave one to Eternal instead of Eclipse on accident. Oh, son of a toasted muffin. Yeah, but... Uh, Thank you, other yeah, person saying, who followed. Yeah, as I said, I feel like um, Eternal definitely are taking advantage of what Eclipse is doing kind of wrong here, which is they're necessarily not focusing, you know objective as much they're just playing off raw mechanical skill which can only get you so far so i feel like eclipse again like i said won it off the skin of their teeth but they can play better and honestly i feel like if they don't start focusing objective if they don't play more, better eternal will take this thanks yeah, if they this energy nick drago spl it's our player i think that's it okay if they or if Eclipse isn't careful about objective, Eternal can definitely take advantage of that and just turn it, turn the set right around and easily honestly take a couple of games or even the set. So I still feel like Eclipse once again is at the advantage, even at, like especially because they just won the first game, even if it was close. But still, they have a little, they have a weakness, and right now Eternal is definitely exploiting that weakness. But it's not a weakness that's hard to fix. It's something very easy to fix. It's a matter of just. Thinking about the objective. And well, hopefully we'll see here. Yeah. We'll see if they'll fix that. Mm -hmm. huh. So we see here uh, on the side of Eclipse, we have the Hydra coming out from Dialga, as well as the VL3 from Murkat. Uh, VL3, not something you see often. Eclipse uh, usually green, see... if I didn't say so. Mm -hmm. Eternal in purple. It's usually you see the uh, L3D instead of the L3, but you know, if it works, it works. And we also have that cage here coming out from Silver, probably for the bubble spam for the pushes. See Gray here pushing Oriute. He's gonna get. He's gonna get two. And they're already gonna be pushing. I didn't even get to mention about the brush running by Danny Boy, which if played right can definitely be a uh, very point weapon. But uh, already they got the push, uh, but are they pushing. going to get anything? That was. Not much of a push. I mean, you say that, but they're going to keep going with the push anyway. If they get the clams in, it's only oh, a half right. of One of them quarters. snuck in, didn't even see Marquette. Which yeah, it's basically a white. Marquette, Marquette snuck in, and... Okay, that was... Basically... A push. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eclipse basically went... what happened there... If... Yeah, go on. Eclipse went darn, we almost lost that. We got to step up our game. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Basically, uh, Eclipse just saw their opportunity there. Like, they just... They didn't even really focus clamps for a second. They instead actually decided to go for kills. That's a situation there where kills was actually the better option. Because once they got the kills, then they were able to get the clamps in. Yeah. Um, but as we see now, they still have mid control even. Like, they're just putting pressure on... Uh, Eternal right now, and you see half of 3 force Dread makes something sneaky, but Diablo's going, nope, and just get that pick. And Orior T now ends up going to have a 1v1 here. Orior just going to get that pick, but it's going to be out right in front of uh, Gray here, who's going to back off, and Orior T going to try push it. But actually, ah. we got flanked by Danny Boy. Well, he's not going to be able to pull that hammer off, and the jump's going to go down with the climb as well. Half or 3 force, so I'm going to sneak in here, and it's going to be able to get a smaller push. You don't have but. Do they have still the pity clam over there? I don't think so. I think that was the pity clam. There. They don't. Yeah, that was the pity clam. And Orioti is going to have to back so, up with these five clams. And that just a, pretty much gave a, a gave, pity to Eclipse. You, that was the first thing I learned when I started getting the past the, I think the upper ranks. You have to get more than just a, one clam. Mm -hmm, definitely. As we see now, there's two on left just sharking. They're kind of waiting to make a push here. And that Murkat and Murkat and Gray pushing onto half of three points here, maybe looking for that pick. You see him mid. Yep. Uh, Soldier on his own, but Murkat and Gray is just gonna go behind there and get that. Say so Alka. Waiting to give the power clamp until pity. they were ready for the push. Waiting until they had the armor and they had that pick to give him the power clamp. So they want to call him. Danny much. boy gonna get stopped and spawned. So that push wasn't that worse. It actually didn't get him any points. That just lowered their penalty and gave a uh, pity to um. Uh, Eternal, so maybe not the most worst push, but they do mm -hmm. they do get Oreo T there in mid, and Gray here is gonna want to strike. They take out fire. Maybe they can go for Danny Boy, but they have to opt to not do that. Meanwhile, on the right side, we're seeing half of three fourths and another flank attempt. It's gonna try to call for that power bomb. Diablo just sees him, though, he's gonna pick that off, stopping that flank there. And right now, because of that, um. Eternal just backed up, and they were waiting for that jump, but they unfortunately couldn't get it, and Eclipse right now with mid-control might be able to make a push of their own with 22 clans at their disposal. Mid-control, but not by much. It's actually pretty easy, from what I can see. That's fair enough, and Knocked out that Hammer coming out, though. Hammer, hammer went hammer's down. Hammer's gonna go down. Maybe the CS might go down as well. It's gonna fall off the map. That's a 4v2 situation. This is a chance oh, for the push, and Solver trying to dodge the heavy. He's gonna dodge the heavy. Murkham might be able to get the uh, half 3 force. might be able to get that. The other power bomb gonna oh. get in, and that's gonna be a push And that's 20. a team wipe, but that is quite a push. Yeah, but Danny Boy is gonna be able to quickly get over there. Gray might be able to stop him, gonna stop him right in his tracks. Possibly also going for Oreo team. Maybe he's gonna Oreo's opt out of that target. hand. They've got two power clams, two people's powers on it. And they've got the pity clam back there, and they've got anything. They can get it all in at once, if... And they've got... Uh, they have 40 clams here, I believe, nearly. Half of 3 4 is gonna keep going, but Diablo's just waiting there. They're gonna get one clam in, two clams one, in. Two. Maybe the third really one. The third. If they with clam, but if no, not able to, and lost the fight. Fire's gonna jump on his own. Half oh, of three yes, the third. Be another clam in. Less, yes, the third. Oh, oh that was. It's still not being enough to get enough. a lead, not though. Not quite enough for lead. They don't have much time either. They've got to get up. They've got to get a new power clam in like ten seconds. They want to push this to overtime. Unfortunately, there they're gonna have to make another power here if they even want to try get that push. And they didn't even actually more than one power, but we just see it right now. Eclipse no, is just gonna try to stop this before it even starts by pushing in, but they didn't they go did. down they and didn't they could the even get a power clamp. clamp. They didn't get the power clamp. That push there at the end. It was such a nice push. It was such a nice push, but it wasn't quite enough. Yeah, at the end there. The, uh, Eternal definitely gonna won that game. They did have four power clamps ready, but unfortunately they weren't able to find a way to get all four of them in. Only three of them, and Base just put them right shy of the lead. And even then, if they were to get a power down at the end there, they're gonna need more than that. They're gonna need mm. pretty much, I believe, two power yeah. clams and more and two power clams and another clam. So Yeah, that and, that was know, Eclipse. Mm -hmm. They would need a whole lot of clams. They didn't have the time to get them, so they would have had to put them in one by one instead of making three power clams. They would have had to make the one power clam in the time they had, get it in there before it ended, and then just feed it clams so that the basket couldn't close. That was not an impossible situation, but not one I would want to be in. Yeah. Towards the end there, we saw Eclipse just push the last, uh, the people are trying to make clamps. It just disrupted even a chance of them getting their power buff. 
feel yeah. like definitely a good game there by Eclipse. They made but, very, they basically made very um, coordinated pushes with their specials, trying to come together to get those picks. Meanwhile, that push with the three power climbs there at the end by Eternals was kind of a last dire push, just running in and hoping for the best, and it nearly worked. It nearly but worked. They again. lost one power clamp. One of those power clamps nearly... where they wanted to, it got, it got destroyed yeah. from the defense. So, well, nice defense on Eclipse's mm -hmm, definitely. Now we're back to tower control at Inkblot, where, honestly, from what I've seen so far, with these two teams' styles of play, I still think Eternal could take this. I still think we could see a game four. Yeah, possibly. Like I said, these two games have been close. They haven't actually. They haven't been blowouts. Eclipse just edging out simply, probably from team coordination. But maybe from again, team coordination, maybe still... Eternal's tired. Eternal's yeah, but... I'm still rooting for you, Eternal. Mm -hmm. You can do this. I feel like still, um, Eclipse is kind of showing. Like at the end, there they kind of weren't really there to stay. They did that push, but they weren't really there to stop that push where the three power climbs came in. So maybe still having that issue of just coming together to stop things that are important and looking at other things instead. So it might be um, a better idea here to actually fix that mistake, or else we actually might see a game four if Eternal takes advantage of that. But uh -huh. again, Eternal, Eternal has yellow. to take advantage of that. Eternal in yellow, Eclipse in blue, we'd see another... Is that a scope? I think that's an E-leader scope. Yeah, that's an either skull coming out of Dialga. I think one of the weapons I've and seen him play the most, actually, out of all the weapons he does on play. The K Pro on the other team, or this is an aggressive comp on both sides. Yeah, when we see Mercury here in this B slash for those missiles. First pick, though. And other than that, a uh, uh, Danny would come with the flank here on Dialga. There's three down. There's absolutely one left. Definitely one down. And this is going to be a starting that's push delayed for white. Eternal. That's Eternal going. We know how to play this mode. Wanna After three forts here, trying to push up on the left, that left side. He's going to back up. Danny Boy getting a pick on Silver. Great going down Ray as well. Down. Right now, uh, Turner has this control. And, I think we found uh, the Turner. Guys, going to have to jump out. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Danny Boy does go down though. It's not over till it's over. Half of three forts. You're going to get the pick on Dialga. Uh, Mister come out from uh, Murkat. Maybe Gray here. Looks like an Oreo team. Oh, they did quite reach checkpoint three, but it's still even. Oh, they're trying to salvage the tower too hard, and they are down three. I think that's the end of this first push, but it was a very nice first push past two checkpoints. That's very important, because both of those checkpoints are very easy to defend. Straight down to 22. Back foot this time. Eclipse has to yeah, use Yeah, Zap does put down there. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put it off them. Gray and Merc have really good slayers. So if they can get the control of the bats there, that's what I'm saying. If they can control the bats there, they're going to be able to just get Okay, basically win. But as I say, that silver unfortunately does go but down, though, and Ray also coming out. coming out, going, no, you're not pushing that tower any further. Harassing okay, everything. Right now, Gray might go down here on this landing, and he will go down. And right now, just Eclipse struggling to find a way to get past Eternal. As you see, you're half a three force yep. here on the weak side. It's going to trade against Silver. And last time two you on the right side. Last time you were saying that E-Leader was an interesting choice for tower control. What do you think the scope is doing for him? Uh, right now, you usually, I usually don't see scope a lot for E-Leader, but I feel like right now it's not working so well for Dio. When you look at the comp of um, Eternal, you have a brush there, and that's a weapon that's basically, I see on the right side, look at the flank. It has been flanking, and even in the beginning of the game, they did a flank kill on Dialga, but as I say this, though, right now, Danny Boy's been spotted out, might go down, will go down, and if, right now, Eclipse can give the control of the bat, Eclipse has gotten quite a push leadership. going on, they've got the, they've got the, yeah, Ray does come out, but Ray is in much of three or teammates of down, and they're gonna get right back on tower, Danny Boy dropping down, maybe trying to make a last straight hero play to jump for the tower, none of his teammates are really helping with oh. Danny Boy here, but Danny Boy is gonna go down, though, and this might and be a lead change here if they keep change? surviving. Murkuk goes down. This is a lead That's change. a lead change. Armor comes out. This might be a KO as well. Oh. Oreos, he's the only one left alive. And Silver here and Gray are just Six pushed five. up around this tower. And, and they're going to KO in that game. game. That was a 3-0. It started so well for Eternal, but then they just lost it.
very good. Yeah, that was uh, Eternal at had the end there. Start Eternal had such a nice start, yeah. but they couldn't hold it. They lost control of mid. They couldn't win the one v ones. As soon as uh, basically Eclipse, they like control of that pretty much that top left. They just they just pushed and they just got the kills they needed. And at that point, Eternal couldn't do anything. And, you know, that's the one situation where Turner cannot get in, especially against Eclipse. But unfortunately, Eclipse just kind of forced it. And eventually saw Danny Bochan go for a flank there, but that got shut down, and that was basically done. Uh, although, still, I will say myself, um, it, uh, Eternal, you know, I did not expect them to make it this close. I expect them to get bodied. I expect this to be our short set. Like Markwood versus Loxheart. I didn't expect this to be close. But, you know, they made it close, gave us some pretty good games. So I'll give it to them for a little, you know. They played well. They did, really, they did really well since they were since they were tired out. If they hadn't been tired out, I think they could have won that. I've got your back, Eternal. So I'm gonna be rooting for you later. But that is your first loss, unfortunately. We're gonna have to update the standings that way. Yeah. So I think now, um, all right. Well, so, uh, yep, what we do now is the stream's going to go offline stream. for a couple minutes. Mm -hmm.